Welcome, today we'll be facing one of the hardest IQ tests on the internet, Matrix 67, which claims it can measure IQ up to 180 plus. I will be sharing my solution for puzzle 22. First, let's zoom in. Determine the missing number as indicated by the question mark. Now I challenge you, pause the video and try to solve the problem before listening to my solution. So my first idea when encountering this puzzle was that the colors are just a distraction and we just add the numbers together to get the number outside of the colored square. So in the first row, 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2 should add up to 80. However, this sum adds up to 38 and 38 is not 80. So this idea is incorrect and most likely the colors impact the numbers in some way. This led to my second idea, which was that each color represents some number and the value in each tile is the value of the color multiplied with the number in the tile. For example, if red equals four and green equals two, then the value of the first tile would be three, the number in the first tile, multiplied by four, the value of red, and the second tile would have the value of four, the number in the second tile, multiplied by two, which is the value of green. Then we would add together all of these values. So in the first row, we would have 12 plus eight plus etc equals 80. However, when I played around with this idea, I found out that the numbers outside of the colored square are just too low for this idea to work. This led to my third and correct idea. What if instead of multiplying the numbers together, we add them together? So given that red has the value of four and green has the value of two, then the value of the first tile would be three, the number in the first tile, plus four, the value of red, equaling seven. The value of the second tile would be four, the number in the second tile, plus two, the value of green. So assuming that this idea is correct, how can we prove it's correct? The first thing we have to do is to find the value of each of the five colors, red, green, yellow, blue, and purple. After we have found the values of the five colors, we have to plug them into each row and column and confirm that each equation is true. So let's start by finding the values of the colors. The first equation that grabbed my attention was row nine, because row nine has two of each color. Let's start by looking at the numbers. We have four plus eight plus three plus two plus seven plus six plus three plus one plus one plus four. This adds up to 39. So we can write up the equation, two red plus two green plus two yellow plus two blue plus two purple plus 39 is equal to 83. Now we want to get rid of the 39 on the left side. So we subtract both sides by 39. And we get that two times the sum of each color is equal to 44. Now we could divide both sides by two to get a better expression, but I will leave it as it is for now. Next, let's look at row four. The numbers seven plus three plus four plus three plus eight plus nine plus three plus five plus two plus five adds up to 49. This row has two red plus two green plus three yellow plus one blue plus two purple. And then we add 49 and this sums up to 89. Now we subtract 49 on both sides to get that the colors of row four adds up to 40. Now here comes the trick to make this problem a lot easier. We change equation two by taking equation two minus equation one. On the left side, we get two red minus two red equaling zero red, two green minus two green equaling zero green, three yellow minus two yellow equaling one yellow, one blue minus two blue equaling minus one blue, two purple minus two purple equaling zero purple, and 40 minus 44 equaling minus four. Of course, zero 
times any number is still zero, so we're left with one yellow minus one blue is equal to minus four. Now we want yellow by itself, so we add blue on both sides and we get that yellow equals blue minus four. Now we have five unknown colors, meaning that we need at least five equations to be able to solve for the colors. In equation two, we had three colors canceling out, leaving yellow and blue to be expressed in terms of each other. I want this to happen for equation three, four, and five. I want three colors to cancel out, leaving blue and one other color. Let's take a look at row five. The numbers three, two, one, six, nine, eight, eight, seven, five, two adds up to 51. We have one red, plus two green, plus two yellow, plus three blue, plus two purple, plus 51 is equal to 98. Notice that I picked this row specifically because I know that the two green, two yellow, and two purple will cancel out, leaving only red and blue. So first we subtract 51 on both sides and we get 47 on the right side. Then we change the third equation by taking the third equation minus the first equation. So we will have one red minus two red minus one red, two green minus two green, zero green, two yellow minus two yellow, zero yellow, three blue minus two blue, one blue, two purple minus two purple, zero purple, and 47 minus 44 equaling three. By removing the zero terms, we get minus one red plus one blue is equal to three. Now, I don't like that blue is positive and red is negative, so I will multiply both sides by minus one. This gives one red minus one blue is equal to minus three. We can now add one blue on both sides, giving that red is equal to blue minus three. Now, I want the next equation to have either one or three blue, and then one or three, either green or purple, while having two of the rest of the colors. This matches row eight. First, let's add the numbers together. Six plus seven plus one plus five plus four plus three plus eight plus eight plus six plus two adds up to 50. We have two red plus one green plus two yellow plus three blue plus two purple plus 50 is equal to 99. We subtract 50 on both sides to get 49 on the right side. Then we change the fourth equation by taking the fourth equation minus the first equation. Two red minus two red is zero red. One green minus two green is minus one green. Two yellow minus two yellow is zero yellow. Three blue minus two blue is one blue. Two purple minus two purple is zero purple. And 49 minus 44 is five. We can remove the colors that are multiplied by zero and we get that minus one green plus one blue is equal to five. Now again, like the last equation, I don't like that blue is positive, so I will multiply both sides by minus one. This gives one green minus one blue is equal to minus five. Adding one blue to both sides gives that green equals blue minus five. The last equation needs to either have three blue and one purple, or three purple and one blue. The numbers four, four, three, three, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine sum up to 48. We have that two red plus two green plus two yellow plus three blue plus one purple plus 48 is equal to 93. We subtract 48 on both sides to get 45 on the right side. We change the fifth equation by taking the fifth equation minus the first equation. We get two red minus two red, zero red, two green minus two green, zero green, two yellow minus two yellow, zero yellow, three blue minus two blue, one blue, one purple minus two purple, minus one purple, 45 minus 44, one. By getting rid of the zero terms, we get that one blue minus one purple is equal to one. Now, like I said earlier, 
I don't like that blue is positive, so I will multiply both sides by minus 1. This gives minus 1 blue plus 1 purple is equal to minus 1. We can now add blue on both sides and we get that purple is equal to blue minus 1. Now to solve these equations, we go back to equation 1 and divide both sides by 2. This gives that red plus green plus yellow plus blue plus purple is equal to 22. Now we can plug in the values of red, green, yellow and purple in terms of blue. We know that red is equal to b minus 3, green is equal to b minus 5, yellow is equal to b minus 4, purple is equal to b minus 1. Now that we have this nice equation, we can separate out the b terms. We have 5 b's and then separate out the constant terms. We have minus 3, minus 5, minus 4, minus 1, so minus 13. We add 13 on both sides to get that 5b is equal to 35. Then we just divide both sides by 5 to get that b is equal to 7. Now we can just plug in that blue is 7 into equation 2, 3, 4 and 5. Yellow is 7 minus 4, yellow is 3. Red is 7 minus 3, red is 4. Green is 7 minus 5, green is 2. Purple is 7 minus 1, purple is 6. Now we have the values of all the colors, blue is 7, yellow is 3, red is 4, green is 2, purple is 6. Now to confirm that these values are correct and that our ID is correct, we have to plug in these values into every row and column and check that our equations are true. But I'm not gonna waste your time by going through every single row and column. So here we have every single equation. They were all true. So now we can solve the problem. In row three, we have nine blue, one red, and the numbers four, three, two, nine, one, four, six, five, three, eight. We plug in that blue has the value of seven and red has the value of four to get this equation. This sum and the solution to the problem is 112. But that's not everything. There is a different way to solve this problem. If we look at these numbers on the bottom, the first number is the sum of each tile in the first column. The second number is the sum of each tile in the second column and so on. So if we sum all these numbers together, we get the sum of every tile. This adds up to 910. Also, if you look at these numbers on the right, each number represents the sum of every tile in one row. The first number is the sum of the tiles in the first row. The second number is the sum of the tiles in the second row, and so on. So by adding these numbers together on the right, we also get the sum of every tile. So the sum of every tile is question mark plus 798, which we also know is 910. We subtract 798 on both sides and we get that question mark is equal to 112. The final answer is 112.